Hi there, and welcome to Coin Rule's 10th Strategy of the Week video. This week's strategy will feature a variety of technical indicators, including the MACD, the Directional Movement Index, or DMI, the Average Directional Index, or ADX, and the Ichimoku Cloud. This week's strategy is definitely the most complex that we've covered in this series, but as you'll see in the backtesting results later, it can provide some really good returns. The MACD is a trend following momentum indicator. It is calculated by subtracting the 26 period EMA from the 12 period EMA. A 9 period EMA of the MACD line is then plotted, known as a signal line. The Ichimoku cloud is a collection of technical indicators that show support and resistance levels, as well as momentum and trend direction. It does this by taking multiple averages and plotting them on a chart. It also uses these figures to compute a cloud that attempts to forecast where the price may find support or resistance in the future. The DMI indicates what way price is trending and compares prior lows and highs with two lines drawn between each, the positive directional movement line, plus DI, and the negative directional movement line, negative DI. The trend can be interpreted by comparing the two lines and which line is greater. When the negative DI line is greater than the positive DI line, there are more chances that the asset is trading in a sustained downtrend, and vice versa. Unlike the DMI, the ADX does not give an indication of trend direction, Instead, it gives an indication of the strength of a trend. Values of the ADX above 45 may suggest that the trend is overextended and is maybe about to reverse. To enter a position, the following conditions must all be met. You'll have to excuse my Japanese pronunciation here. So first we require that the Tenkan Sen is above the Keijun Sen. So essentially this blue line is above this dark red line here. We also require that the Keishun Span is above the close of 26 bars ago. We also require that the close is above the Kumo cloud, which are essentially these shaded areas up here. We also require that the negative DI line is greater than the positive DI line, just like this. And that the ADX, this red line, is greater than 45. We also require that the MACD crosses above its signal line. So that is like this here, this point here. Let's take a look at this diagram again to go over the exit conditions of the strategy. First we require that the Tenkan Sen is below the Keijun Sen, just like this example here. We also require that the Keijun Span is below the close of 26 bars ago, as opposed to above with X entering. We also require that the close is below the Kumo Cloud, just like here, it's below this shaded area up here. We also require that the MACD line crosses under its signal line, just like this example here, which is the opposite of our entry condition here. We require that the positive DI line is greater than the negative DI line. And we also require that the ADX is less than 45. Okay, so now I'll show you how to run this strategy on CoinRule and also backtest it on TradingView. So first, find it on the TradingView page. Uh, I'll add a direct link to this in the description of the video. Uh, here's the entry and exit conditions. Uh, they're here in more detail for you to have a look at, but we've already been over these, but they're quite complicated as you know, so it might be good to study them in more detail. Scroll down and click add to favorite indicators and then come to the chart that you wish it to run on. So I want to run on AVA, AVA USDT on the one hour time frame. Now click indicators and it'll be under your favorites. I'm not going to do that because I've already got the code in here because I just wanted to change the default quantity value to 100 rather than 30. This essentially means that the strategy will trade with 100% of the available equity rather than 30%. Uh, you can see here as well that the backtesting data is just for 2022. So it simulates that it works quite well in the bear market as well. So you get pretty realistic, um, pretty realistic estimates of how it would perform in current market conditions. So if you're happy with this, click add to chart. And you can see that the strategy performed very, very well on this time frame and pairing. Feel free to pay, play around with different um, time frames and different pairings to see if you can find ones that work better. But I'm more than happy with this performance. So if you're happy with this, come to coin rule, create a new rule. And under templates, you'll find it as Ichimoku Cloud with ADX. So click it and add to chart. And then you'll just have to input a few things. So, such as how much you want to buy with each buy signal. So if there's a buy signal, if trading view signal is a buy, I want to buy a hundred US dollars of EVA with my USDT wallet as a limit order. And then if trading view signal is a sell, i.e. to close the position, then I want to sell 100% of the amount bought of that coin 
to a USDT wallet as a limit order. I want this to execute 100 times in total. And I'm going to name this rule Ichimoku Cloud with ADX. So if you're happy with this, you'll click launch and you'll get a little preview here. And you'll also get a webhook URL and a message. So next, you have to come back to this chart, highlight the strategy up here, click these three dots, add alert. And then what you have to do is copy the webhook URL like this, come to notifications and paste it in here. You also see you're given a message here. Copy this and come in here and delete this, paste it in here. Then click create. Then come back to coin rule, click launch. Your strategy is now live. Thank you very much for listening to this strategy of the week video. Please reach out if you've got any questions. Thank you.